Hello everyone. This is Abhijit here from Abhinam Chess Academy, and today we are going to look at the new game of Nakamura versus Ding Li Ren. Ding Li Ren knocks out Nakamura in the semifinals of the Chess Piece Chess Able Masters. Now Li Ren will be uh, going playing against Carlson in the next round. In the in the uh, Liren played two games against Nakamura. In both the games, he attacked the on the queen side, and Nakamura could not hold it up. We looked at this first game. It's a very interesting game. It's a game of a Ruy Lopez. Uh, Liren is black, and Nakamura is white. And we have the Berlin defense. So black, white does not want to go into the end game. So black. Uh, white plays a simple move d3 and black plays bishop c5. White goes bishop c6, d6, castle, and in d7. All pretty sided stuff. The whole whenever you play the Berlin, you have a double pawns on the queen side when white plays the rule of page exchange type variation. Now, black's main focus is to play on the queen side, and white can play in the center on the king side, depending on the plan. White played knight bd2. Castle, all pretty standard stuff. NC4, rook e8, protecting the pawn. Two attacks on the pawn and two defenses. White plays a4 to get some space on the queen side. And black plays a5 to stop it. White plays bishop e3 to exchange the strong bishop. And ex asking black what he like to exchange. But black is not interested in exchanging that bishop. So bishop d4 and knight f d2. All right, now it's a pretty standard job. White can later on play f4 and he can attack on the king's side. So black plays f6, maintaining the tension in the center. Now white plays c3. So asking the bishop, where does the bishop want to go? Because here it's a bad square, here it's a bad square. Here, if he puts, he obstructs the way of the bishop. So the only square left is, and now white plays queen c2 with a plan of d4. Controlling the center, a fantastic center that white would get. So black plays b6, white plays d4, black plays cd4, black plays cd4, and black plays knight b And now we, you can see the interesting mystery of chess position at the highest level of 20, 2800 players. That after 15 moves, they have violated the principles that all the pieces are on the eighth rank. Can you believe it? White has found all the solid principles, but black is playing mysteriously, you know, and that's the style of a mysterious chess of a Ding Liren. and that's the beauty how he won this game, you know. That's that's it's very very shocking to see when I saw all the pieces on the eighth rank after 15 moves. It's really really shocking. So white played knight rook c1. Now, the most weak square on the white camp is the b4 square. B4 square so. And how can black go to that is by occupying knight a3 and knight b4. So that is how he can go and have some hold on the d3 square, which is very important square in the rule of this. So knight a6, rook fd1, and then b4. And now this knight is our outposted knight. Only the bishop or the knight can exchange this, and the fantastic knight on the b4. Now white played queen b1. Now black rearranges and regroups his pieces in such a fantastic way that all the pieces would be pointing towards the queen side. So let's look at it. Bishop e6, b3, queen d7, f3, queen f7. And suddenly on move 20, you can see in the, in the move number 15, if you got seen, all the pieces were on the 8th rank. And that is the first rank for the black side. And now you can see all the pieces are pointing towards the queen side. And that's the beauty. The regrouping of the pieces of black has been fantastic. And that shows that white has a plan, but black has a fantastic, she is making a fantastic plan on the queens. Now black plays rook d8, still pressurizing the d4 and asking the bishop to be committed on this square and not allowing d5. So rook c3. Now it seems that white is without a plan or with a plan but black plays b5 he still pushes out and lashes out if a b5 then c b5 
and then later on black can put a passer with the support of the rooks it's fantastic and the bishop supporting this here and the bishop supporting here and knight is already there so white does not want to create it and white simply went and i wanted to keep the double pawns so black played rook b8 white played a b5 black played rook b5 now b3 is the weakness and white wants to play on the half open file so now knight gets back to play and now he comes to a4 a very interesting move attacking on the queen so now white plays rook cd c1 he's starting to attack on the c6 square and later on he can sacrifice this pawn d5 to get rook c7 and attack on the queen side but black is least concerned about that and he's concerned to rush to the queen side so b cross a4 and rook cross a4 and now all the threats and all the things have started. Now black is threatening a very interesting move. Any two, four. Now what to do? And this is where white has no chance. Uh, white is helpless. What to do? What choice to make? In the game, white played rook a3. Okay. So we will go with that game, rook a3. Before that, let's uh, see the other two variations. One is knight a3. In the case of knight a3, Black can first play bishop e2. Say for example, if white plays queen b2, then knight d3, and the queen is gone. So that is that is not at all possible. So in case he plays queen a1, and then you have rook a5. You are attacking the knight. So he will play queen b2, and now you have fantastic move knight d5. Now you are attacking the knight. You are attacking the rook. If he takes it, and you take with the bishop. Now he goes queen b8, for example. If he takes the bishop, then you have bishop c1 and your quality up. So that is not possible. So he plays queen b8, and now you go queen f8, queen f8, and rook c2 protecting the rook. Then you have bishop d4 and bishop d5. Black has a very fantastic pair of bishops and the attack on the queen side, and uh, it's a minus plus position for black. So let's go back to the rook a4 position. Let's revise knight a3, bishop a2, queen a1, then you have rook a5, and now we have knight d5. So that's not possible. Now let's see for knight b2. Now if you play knight b2, then you have rook a6. You go back and support the pawn. So black plays d5. As I told you earlier, he wants to get to the c7. So black takes now rook c7. Now then black has queen h5. Now cd5 and now nd5. Now he goes rook c4 and black is plays queen e5 attacking on the pin of the b2 pawn. And the game is a bit equal, a slight good for black. You know, So black has no problems on the game and black has a fantastic activity on the queen side. Whereas black, white has a lot of problems. So looking at knight b2 and knight t3, Nakamura went for rook a3. And now a fantastic move that only with everything about the black. And now black plays in a2. You can see all the pieces are swinging in the air. Now rook a4, then rook b1, rook b1, and knight c3. Now he played rook a1, now knight a4, rook a4, and black is quality. Up. This move is a damaging move of rook a3. Knight a3, knight a2, rook a4, rook b1, rook b1, and knight c3. Now rook b1, knight takes, rook takes, queen e8. Now rook a6, c3, queen c8. Now we replace rook c7 and bishop d7. Now we threats for knight b6, but there is a queen b7. Knight d7, queen c6, queen c8. And black wins the game. So the main culprit here was r3. Let's revise the game and understand. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c5. This is all pretty standard stuff. And now protecting the pawn, not exchanging the bishops, controlling the center, getting the bishop out back. B6, not giving the bishop and in. Now you see ed4, cd4, and 15 moves all the pieces back to the square one. And now using a very important tactic, and now regrouping the pieces on the queen side. Bishop f2 and rook d in. Rook c3 and b5. Trying to expand in the queen side and now the open file and now the a4 
and now all the things wrap now to k3 and na2 so this was a fantastic game played by black and a very good uh, game so hope you like the video na3 and uh, na2 and rook e4 and rook e1 so a very fantastic game played by black a, and if white plays queen a2 then black plays rook a3 and uh, black is clearly winning the fantastic game by liren and now he has knocked out nakamura i hope you like the video do share your inputs key can like share and subscribe bye bye take care have fun